Hello everybody, so I wanted to do a really quick update about what life is like uh, being an au pair. So I'm currently au pairing in La Manga, Spain, and au pair is a term that I've been throwing around a lot. I know a lot of people don't really know what it means, so I'm just going to read a quick definition about what an au pair is. So an au pair is a domestic assistant from a foreign country working for and living part and living as part of a host family. Typically, au pairs take on a share of the family's responsibility for childcare as well as some of the housework and receive a monetary allowance for personal use. So every au pair uh, situation is different. I'm currently living with a family, so I'm living with a mother, father, uh, two sons that are eight and 10 years old. And for this family, they just wanted me to look after the children, um, speak with them in English so they can learn more English and kind of teach them in a, a casual way. And it's been a really, really great and amazing experience so far. Um, the family's gone really above and beyond to make me feel comfortable here. Um, so I also wanted to answer some questions that my friends and family have been asking me. So one of them is, why did I want to become an au pair? Well, I wanted to become an au pair because I just started doing some research about traveling alone. And then I came across a video on YouTube about a girl talking about her experience au pairing. And I was like, I think this would be a really valuable experience. Um, I like children. I've always wanted to become kind of like a big sister. And I also wanted to learn uh, another language. So yeah, that's pretty much why I chose to be an au pair. And I chose Spain because uh, I wanted to learn Spanish. And it's been pretty difficult so far but I've been trying to practice but it's hard because I speak to the children all day in English and then in the afternoons I try to speak a little bit in Spanish so another thing that people have been asking me um, why La Manga Spain so like I said before I really wanted to learn Spanish so it didn't really matter for me where I went in Spain um, and I kind of was attracted to La Manga because I'm from Toronto, which is like a really big kind of fast-paced city, and La Manga is a very uh, beach, like kind of paradise location. So it's a bit of a change of pace, which is what I really, really liked. And also, I think I based my decision more so on the family. Like I felt like the family and I had a lot of common interests and um, share a lot of the same mindset. So my advice, if anyone is thinking about becoming little pair, is don't really focus so much on the location. I think you should focus more so on your family, the connection that you have with your family, your gut feeling, and you'll meet people regardless of where you go. I was a bit concerned because I was like, oh, the manga's so small, but I've already met two girls from Canada, which was really surprising. And I've made a few friends that live here locally and everyone here has been super nice, super laid back, super chill, so it's been really, really good. Also, so another question that I get asked a lot is what is the typical day like? So I get up anywhere between 8 and 9 a.m. Uh, varies on the day, it depends on when the children get up as well. Um, so I make them breakfast, it's pretty simple. One of the kids really likes toast with oil and sugar, I, that's like one of his favorite things. And so I make that, uh, I make my bed, I make their bed, we kind of relax, uh, I ask them what they want to do for the day. Sometimes they just want to go to the pool, sometimes they want to play, sometimes we go to the beach, so it varies, I just kind, kind of try and keep them entertained. Um, and so yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's kind of, it's fun being around children because then I guess it kind of brings out your inner child as well. So yeah, they've been teaching me a bit of Spanish too, which has been really, really good. So um, yeah, I usually get off around three o'clock in the afternoon and that's when the family eats lunch. So I eat lunch with them and then I usually go out, uh, go for a bike ride, meet up with uh, my other Canadian friends or maybe someone who lives here locally. Um, go for a walk, relax, sit by the beach. It's really, really chill, which is what I really, really like. And it's always hot here. There's never any clouds. Um, it hasn't rained really since I've been here, so I really like that. And then I just wanted to do a quick response to my last video, which is it's weird being alone. I just wanted to add that um, I'm okay with being alone. Like, I don't mind being alone, but I was just trying to say that when you're in a foreign place where 
you don't have the comfort of knowing that you can call somebody to be like hey let's hang out um, it kind of was a bit of an adjustment for me I had to get accustomed to that but honestly I'm very very happy here like I said the family's been beyond amazing it's been a really good experience I've met some really really cool people so definitely definitely recommend it if anyone is thinking about becoming an au pair obviously do your research Skype with the family talk with the family make sure that you have common interests or yeah and that your goals align with what the family wants you to do so yeah if you have any questions comments or anything that you'd like to know about au pairing just ask me down below and i'll see you guys in the next vlog video whatever i decide to do all right take care bye